What is he, some kind of a name hog or something? Well, no, actually, guys, it's because in Latin cultures, uh, people tend to have two last names. Why? Well, one name is their father's last name, like we do in the United States. Uh-huh. And then the other name, what? Whose is it? It's your mom's last name. Oh! Well, if you think about it, that makes sense. Huh. Well, wait a minute. I, you kind of blew my mind here. I got to think about this. Okay. And while you do, I'm going to read Rene has two last names. Rene tiene dos apellidos. Because it's actually a very common thing to have two last names. That way, they, when you introduce yourself, people know what, what side, what, what both sides of your family are, where you come from, not just from one side. Here we go. On the first day at my new school, my teacher, Miss Soria, Miss Soria, gave me a sticker that, say, that said, Rene Colato. The sticker was missing my second last name. Maybe Miss Soria's pen ran out of ink. So I took my pencil and added it. Now it looked right. Rene Colato Lainez. El primer día en la nueva escuela, mi maestra, señorita Soria, me dio una calcomanía que decía René Colato. Isn't that a crazy word? Calcomanía? Calcomanía is sticker. It looks like calcomania. It's calcomanía and it means sticker. That's a big word. If you get that one, bonus points. A la calcomanía le faltaba mi segundo apellido. Quizá a la pluma de señorita Soria se le terminó la tinta. Tomé mi lápiz y lo agregué. Ahora estaba bien. René Colato Lainez. Lápiz. Pencil. Lápiz is pencil. And there he is adding his extra name. And the kids are watching. In El Salvador, oh, I guess that's where he's from. He's Salvadoran. In El Salvador, I wrote my name on my homework, my books, and my birthday party invitations. René Colato Lainez was a happy song that made me dance to the rhythms of the cha-cha-cha. But in the United States, the song lost the guiros, maracas, and drums. Why does my name have to be different here? En El Salvador, escribía mi nombre en mis tareas, en mis libros y en mis invitaciones de cumpleaños. Cumpleaños, that's birthday. René Colato Lainez era una canción feliz que me hacía bailar al ritmo de la cha-cha-cha. Pero en Estados Unidos, United States, Estados Unidos, la canción perdió los guiros, las maracas y los timbales. ¿Por qué mi nombre tenía que ser diferente aquí? He doesn't want his name to be different just because his town is different, is what he's saying. At my desk, I wrote my name on a piece of paper. When I wrote Colato, I saw my grandparents, oh, here we go, the Colato grandparents, René and Amelia singing with me. When I wrote Lainez, I saw my grandparents, Angela and Julio, dancing, dancing with me. René Colato looked incomplete. It was like a hamburger without the meat or a pizza without the cheese, ew or a hot dog without a wiener. Yuck, nobody wants that. En mi escritorio, escritorio, desk, escritorio. Escribí mi nombre, mi nombre, that's a good one to learn, kid, if you don't know it. My name, mi nombre, en una hoja. Cuando escribí Colato, vi a mis abuelos René y Amelia cantando conmigo. Cuando escribí La Inés, vi a mis abuelos Ángela y Julio bailando conmigo. René Colato me parecía incompleto, como una hamburguesa sin carne, o una pizza sin queso, o un perro caliente sin salchicha. ¡Bah! During recess, I played soccer with my classmates. Soccer. A boy looked at my sticker and said, what's your name? René Colato La Inés. I told him. That's a long dinosaur name. <laughs> Your name is longer than, than an anaconda. <laughs> it's a blue whale from head to tail, said the goalie. <laughs> That's a weird way to approach it. Durante el recreo jugué fútbol. Fútbol in soccer is Spanish in, for soccer in Spanish. Fútbol, not football like you think of American football. Fútbol in the rest of the world is soccer. Jugué fútbol con mis compañeros de clase. Un niño miró mi calcomanía y me preguntó, ¿Cómo te llamas? René Colato Lainez, le dije. Es un nombre tan largo como un dinosaurio. Tu nombre es más largo que una anaconda. Es como una ballena azul de la cola a la cabeza, dijo el portero. I don't know why they're making fun of his name. It's just a little extra long. At home, while I was eating a cheese pupusa and drinking horchata, well, those are Salvadoran dishes. Horchata is uh, some milky, I forget. I, I had it once. It was, it was good. 
Uh, I told my parents, in school, they call me René Colato, not René Colato La Inés. Oh, that's too bad, Mama said. La Inés is a fine last name. Don't worry, son. La Inés is in your heart, Papa said. You're right, I said, and I took another bite from my pupusa. That's a funny name for, for food, right? Pupusa? But that's a real thing, and that's also quite delicious, although I cannot describe it either. En casa, mientras comía una pupusa de queso y tomaba horchata, le dije a mis padres, en la escuela me llaman René Colato, no René Colato La Inés. ¡Qué pena! Dijo mamá. La Inés es un buen apellido. No te preocupes, hijo. La Inés es en, está en tu corazón, dijo papá. Tienes razón. Y le di otra mordida a mi pupusa. That night, I dreamed that my last name, Lainez, had disappeared from my life. I was left alone with Papa and my relatives from my father's side. I looked everywhere, but Mama was not in the dining room helping me with homework. Abuela Angela was not in the kitchen making my favorite chocolate. Abuelo Julio was not on the patio fixing my bike. When I woke up, I said, I cannot lose Lainez again. <laughs> Ooh. Wow, he is really super duper into this okay that's totally respectable he does not want to forget half of his family that is a beautiful thing esa noche soñé que mi apellido la Inés había desaparecido de mi vida quedaba solo con papá y mis parientes paternos busqué por todas partes pero mamá no estaba en el comedor ayudándome con la tarea abuela Ángela no estaba en la cocina preparando mi chocolate preferido abuelo Julio no estaba en el patio arreglando mi, mi bicicleta cuando desperté dije no perderé la Inés otra vez God is my witness I shall not lose my second last name at school Miss Soria said, we are going to start a new project, a family tree. Be creative and have fun. Oh, I remember my, my family trees in El Salvador. We had a mango and an avocado tree. I said, René Colato, the trees I am talking about are your family and relatives, Miss Soria said. Oh, those kinds of trees, not backyard trees. En la escuela, señorita Soria dijo, hoy empezaremos un nuevo proyecto, un árbol genealógico. Wow, that's a big word in Spanish, family tree. Un árbol genealógico. Sean creativos y diviértanse. Oh, recuerdo los árboles de mi familia en El Salvador. Teníamos un árbol de mango y uno de aguacate. Dije, René Colato, los árboles de los que estoy hablando son tu familia y tus parientes. Dijo señorita Soria. That evening, I opened a chest filled with my family's photographs. I found pictures of Abuela Angela. Mama told me that my grandmother used to dance in fairs and in fiestas. Oh, look at that. Abuela was a dancer. Papa showed me a picture of when he was young and he had long straight hair and was holding a clay pot. Where's that picture? Where's that picture? I don't see it. Where's the clay pot picture? Maybe he's holding it in his hand right there. I know what I'll do for my school project, I said. Esa tarde abrí un baúl, aquí está, de fotografías de mi familia. Mi familia, my family. Encontré fotos de Abuela Ángela. Mamá me contó que mi abuela bailaba en las ferias y fiestas. Wow. Papá me mostró una fotografía de cuando él era joven. Tenía el pelo largo y lacio y sostenía una vasija de barro. Ya sé lo que haré para mi proyecto de la escuela, le dije. On Saturday, Papa and I made copies of the pictures. Mama helped me find leaves for my tree, and I used large pieces of paper and paints and crayons. There's a crayons everywhere here. Soon, I had a family tree, and it was as big as me. Wow, I cannot wait to see the finished product. He's got all the, the photos here, and... And he's got some glue and some, I see some tape there and the pencils and the, and the crayons and the scissors. El sábado, papá y yo hicimos copias de las fotografías. Mamá me ayudó a buscar hojas para mi árbol. Usé grandes trozos de papel, pinturas y crayones. Al fin, tuve un árbol familiar. Era tan grande como yo. It's going to be big. Oh, it is as big as him. Look at that. On Monday, we presented our family trees. When it was my turn, I took a deep breath. <sighs> I walked to the front of the class. I am René Colato Lainez. Colato comes from Italy and Lainez comes from Spain. But I was born in El Salvador. 
I taped my family tree on the board for everyone to see. Wow, look how cool. So he's been able to trace his lineage, his ancestry to two different countries and then to the one he's born in and now he's living in the United States. That is a family tree that has traveled. El lunes presentamos nuestros árboles genealógicos. Cuando fue mi turno, respiré profundo y fui al frente de la clase. Soy René Colato Lainez. Colato viene de Italia, Lainez viene de España, pero yo nací en El Salvador. Pegué mi árbol genealógico en la pizarra para que todos lo pudieran ver. At this school, everyone calls me René Colato. I pointed first to my first last name. The last name, Colato, comes from Papa's family. Abuela Amelia is a potter. She molds clay to make delicate pots. Abuelo René is a farmer. Oh, Abuelo René, he's named after his grandpa. He plants and harvests fruits and vegetables. Hola! He takes care of his plants all year long and never gives up. Hola! En esta escuela, todos me llaman René Colato. Señalé mi primer apellido. El apellido Colato, Colato viene de la familia de papá. Abuela Amelia es alfarera. Moldea el barro para hacer delicadas vasijas. Abuelo René es granjero. ¡Hello! Siembra y cosecha frutas y verduras. Cuida sus plantas todos los días del año y nunca se da por vencido. Then I pointed to my second last name. La Inés is my second last name, and it comes from Mama's family. Abuelo Julio is a poet. He recites wonderful poems and tells great stories. Abuela Angela is a great dancer. She has won many trophies and medals. Ah, this is the artistic side of the family, I see. Señalé mi segundo apellido. La Inés es mi segundo apellido y viene de la familia de mamá. Abuelo Julio es poeta, recita poemas maravillosos y cuenta historias magníficas. Abuela Ángela es una gran bailarina. That's a beautiful word in Spanish, isn't it? Bailarina. That means dancer. Ha ganado muchos trofeos y medallas. And this is me. I said pointing to my picture in the family tree. I am René Colato Lainez. I am as hardworking as Abuelo René and as creative as Abuela Amelia. And I can tell wonderful stories like Abuelo Julio and enjoy music like Abuela Angela. If you call me René Colato only, the other half of my family disappears. Y este soy yo, dije señalando mi foto en el árbol genealógico. Soy René Colato Lainez. Soy tan trabajador como Abuelo René y tan creativo como Ren Abuela Amelia. Amelia. Para, puedo contar historias maravillosas, maravillosas como Abuelo Julio y disfrutar de la música como Abuela Ángela. Si me llaman René Colato, solamente desaparece. Desaparece la otra mitad de mi familia. Oh, no. After my presentation, I played Abuela Ángela's music and everybody got up to dance. You have a wonderful name, a boy said. It's great to have two last names. Miss Soria smiled and said, from now on, you will be René Colato Lainez. Hooray! I said as I danced with my new friends. How oh, he was able to make them understand why both of his names mattered so much to him. Después de mi presentación, puse música de Abuela Ángela y todos se pasaron, prepararon a bailar. Tienes un nombre maravilloso, dijo un niño. Es fabuloso tener dos apellidos. Señorita Soria sonrió y dijo, de ahora en adelante serás René Colato Lainez. ¡Viva! Dije, bailando con mis nuevos amigos. And there is René Colato Lainez, right there. The boy who insisted and maintained his two names, just like his family. Do you know that... Uh, in unicorn culture? Y yes, Corny. Well, we, we, we don't have last names. You don't? No. We, we only go by one name. So everybody's, you know, Corny the unicorn or Sam the unicorn or, uh, yeah, well, you, you get by drift, yes? Oh, yeah, I get it. I get it. And I was giving it some deep thought. And what did you come up with, Green Bear? Well, I realized that all of us in bear culture also have last names, but we're all basically named Bear. Oh, is that is that right? Yeah, I mean, it's, I looked it up really hard while you were reading. There's koala bear and panda bear and brown bear and black bear. And, well, 
you get my drift. So basically, after all my research, I realized, yes, what did you realize? That my full name is Green Bear Bear. Oh. Yeah, I know, it wasn't as exciting as I hoped. But well, from now on, I will now be known as Green Bear Bear, or Green Bear Squared, or, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna think about that. Yeah, I think you should. All right, kid, I'm glad that you enjoyed and learned something from this. I sure did, I have two last names. Yeah, and I have no last name. Yeah, super interesting, right? How everybody's a little bit different, but we all have a mom. Yeah. And we all have a dad. <laughs> So you have two sides of you, which you should always honor and respect. All right, kids, see you next time on Hit It, guys. Kid time!